think of Hall of Fame, you may associate it with celebrities and athletes. Well, that wasn't the case today in Prattville as an induction ceremony was held for senior citizens, many of whom are still making a difference in their community. Our Simon Schusler has more. Hall of Fames are usually categorized by industry and expertise, but the only qualification for the Alabama Senior Citizens Hall of Fame is age, allowing people to see veterans, teachers, musicians, and more be honored all at the same time. And it was a packed house for it all. The ceremony includes 10 permanent inductees to the Hall of Fame, alongside 26 other awards in categories like community service, religion, and performing arts. Each person honored was nominated by a member from their community and were selected by a committee. Also recognized, couples married for at least 65 years and those 100 years or older, like Gladys Perkins from Shelby County. She's 102 years old, a mother of 12, and a grandmother to 27. How do you keep up with them all? I don't keep up with them. I don't count them no more. I don't count them. I can't count them. And we always laugh because my father was a pastor. And so when they asked about them having 12 children, we said that they took that scripture, be fruitful and multiply, to heart. And I'm, I'm especially grateful because I'm the last one. So if they hadn't, they wouldn't have had number 12. So many lives filled with incredible history and memories, all packed into one room. Simon Schusler, WSFA 12 News.